God damn it, Jeffrey, this is a place of business, not a petting zoo. So either you flush the goldfish or you're fired. You don't have the authority to do that. Section 207, paragraph three of the bylaws. Insubordination to a partner results in termination. This has nothing to do with my fish and you know it. It's got everything to do with that fish and I want to hear another word about it. So unless you want to say another oh, word. Can I talk to you for a second? Hey, Jessica, we're just in the middle of something. Right. Yes? What the hell do you think you're doing? I'm exercising my authority as junior partner over that douche. By trying to kill this fish? No, by trying to keep order in the bullpen. Jessica, Jeffrey's work habits are it's not- because I didn't call him junior partner. Shut up! This has nothing to do with about how I feel about a stupid, disrespectful asshole fish. Lewis, have you considered therapy? Why would I do that? That would be like Brishnikov taking dance lessons. Lewis. Jessica, shrinks are for pussies. Now, can I go back to yelling at Jeffrey? Because these associates need guidance and discipline. Listen to me, Lewis. I stayed out of that whole thing between you and Harvey because that was Daniel's call. And you want to go off on the associates, that's one thing. But you let this promotion go to your head and you take it out on Harvey. I'm going to step the hell back in. Just get my word as junior partner. If there's any problem with Harvey, it won't be because of me. Hello? Hi, I'm Lewis Litt, here for my 9 a.m. appointment. Hello? Hi, yeah, Mr. Litt, we've been expecting you. I'm sorry, but did you just speak in a German accent? Uh, please, take in the seat. Holy shit, you're a goddamn Nazi. What did you just say to me? I said I'm not going to sit here and talk to you about the weather, let alone my goddamn feelings. Thanks, but no thanks, Wiener Schnitzel. Please, Louis, just give me two minutes. Two minutes. First of all, I take it you're Jewish. Yeah, I'm not comfortable answering that right now. Well, it seems very clear, based on the fact that you just called me a Nazi. What's your point? Would it interest you to know that I'm Jewish too? Yeah, we'll take out your circumcised junk and maybe I'll believe you. I'm not going to do that, Louis, but I will tell you that my parents were both children during the war. They survived by fleeing the country and felt it their duty to eventually return and raise both my sister and myself as proud Germans and Jews. So if you want to leave because you don't like the way I speak, I understand. But if not, why don't you tell me what brings you here? I'm here because no matter what I do, nobody respects me. 